I usually film my vlogs on Mondays and Tuesdays of the week for you guys to see on Friday. This week, or last week's video actually was filmed the week before, so you're not going to see this one for a while. But look at the snow today. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and um, yeah, I didn't get to go to the studio today. There's 17 inches of snow on my deck, um, at least measured by my neighbor. Uh, but I did do art here at home because that is the priority is to do art every day um, or at least every business day. So hang on, I'm going to turn you over to my table and let you see what I did. So I used my utility knife today. I would have used an X-Acto knife, but I couldn't find one um, to create these stencils. And these were inspired by other stencils, but they are my own interpretation of that because uh, you never want to copy somebody else's design. So I have these, I did all of these, and I started doing this one, but my hand gave out, so I'm done for the day. <laughs> but that's what I did today, and now I'm getting ready to go out and shovel that craziness. I don't know if you guys can tell through the door here. I don't want to open it because it's cold. But look at the snow drifted up on the side of my car there. That's what we're. That's what I'm looking at. So I just said to my husband a minute ago that I was going to go out there and shovel a little bit and then come back and do a little bit more. And rather than you know doing it all at one in one shot, that tends to be the way I like to do things. Is I want to finish something when I start it. But we're going to take it a little bit at a time. So it's funny, last night when the snow started coming down, I don't know whether I got kind of a nesting bug or something. I don't know what that is, but reverse, because I went down into my home studio and I pulled out all this stuff that I'm going to take to the studio um, to d work with. So since I had it out, that's what I worked with and played with today. I have um, some tea bags here that I'm going to do. These actually pulled out because I'm going to sell those. Some rubber stamps to play with, um, some special scissors, and then all these mediums. I was watching videos today on uh, using this cold wax. That'll be fun. My dad bought me this uh, big kick, big shot or whatever, uh, a few years ago before he passed away. We were going to make Christmas cards together. Never got around to it, but I'm going to take that to the studio. Some more sketchbooks. Going to take those to the studio so I have more to work uh, with daily. And then a couple stencils that were left over. So all of that is ready to go to the studio so that I can make more art. I'm quite thankful that it's not that crazy cold out here. Because the wind is whipping around and some of that snow was up over my knees Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I'm just checking in with you. Today is Friday. It is the day before the chocolate walk here in Hudson. And I was so excited to get to the studio today to do art. <laughs> but I've been sitting here for about an hour trying to figure out what it was I was going to do. Um, I think that I need to kind of get a direction the night before and lay things out and have a... Know what I'm doing, basically. Um, so what I finally wound up doing is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. Um, and I'm going to turn you around and show you. Hold on just a second. Okay, so what I did was I divided my sketchbook into little squares. And I pulled up some images on unsplash.com. And I had thought about doing this before. Basically what I did was I just was sketching in the shapes um, as practice for my eye to see the shapes and also um, hopefully to get size and placement and all of that better. <laughs> I still have issues with that. I'll start a drawing and um, discover halfway into the drawing that my subject is going to go off the page because I screwed up and I cannot stand erasing everything to change that so oftentimes my stuff will just go off the page um, but anyway this one is this so see how I took the 
the rectangles here of the box, or not boxes, the suitcase, and then I put the hat in as a circle, and then the leaves there are oval shapes. Um, and then we did that. So that's what I did there. Um, I didn't do every single picture, but I did do quite a few pictures. Yeah, this one um, right there is this here. So you see, I, I made the horizon line up there. I made the deck line or whatever that was there. This is that lantern. This is the mat. And those are the legs. I forgot to put the feet on. <laughs> I see it now. It's like I should have put extra rectangles for the feet. Um... What else did I do? Oh, I did this one. I did this one right there. And then that is here. So I've got the towel. I've got the can. The proportion and location of these items is all wrong, by the way. Um, and that's something that I was hoping to, to see when I was doing this. Um, I mean, it's close, but not really. So this hat is actually bigger, I think. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I don't want to bore you with all the details of that, but I just did a whole bunch of different shapes. Um, I don't know if you can even tell what that is. That's a lady taking a picture, <laughs> laying on the beach with her hands behind her head. There's that one. So very simple things, just all about finding the shapes in the items. So that's what I'm doing now. I may do some more pages in my sketchbook. I also was really excited about doing another pastel painting, but I really need to get going on a pastel painting when I first get here, um, because it takes me a while and like, literally I lose my mojo. <laughs> I really do. I lose my mojo halfway in. Um, so I gotta, I gotta get moving on that right away. But I think that the key is to know what I'm doing the night before and get my surface all clean and get my supplies out to do that um, so that I have some direction. A number of years ago, I actually made myself some prompt sticks, like out of little teeny weeny um, popsicle sticks. I might try to locate those again because that might help me when I'm in a in a funk and I don't know what it is that I want to do. See, that's the thing. I got so many ideas running around in my brain, by the way, that I don't know where to start because I don't know what I want to do for the day. Does that, I mean, does anybody else have that problem? Um, so it's not that I don't have things I can do. It's that I have too many things that I can do. And I cannot find that space where I want to start. So maybe if I brought in my um, my prompt sticks and did those the night before, and then knew what direction I was going to head in the in the next morning, maybe that would help me. So we'll give that a shot maybe next week. I forgot to put my microphone on earlier, so hopefully you can hear me better now. I wanted to share with you that I did get a whole bunch of samples done for, and I have the information for my Mixed Media Art Weekend for you. I have some of the samples here. Um, so basically, I'm doing an entire Mixed Media Weekend at the end of March, March 25th through the 27th, here at the studio, in-person classes. Um, I'm going to give preference to those people that are signing up for the entire weekend um, so for all of the classes, all of the classes are standalone, but they all work together, um, to create a, a project that you can do, um, and go home with something really, really, really cool. But like I said, they all stand alone, but preference will be given to anybody that's signing up for the whole weekend in person. Um, you can sign up via zoom as well. Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of, that's kind of separate. There's, but preference is given there for people that want to sign up for the whole weekend as well. I have limited space for both. So Friday, March 25th uh, from 6.30 to 9 p.m. is going to be a mark-making class. And this is only a small sampling of stuff that I did with the mark-making. I know there's a lot of papers here, but I love to do mark-making. So between now and then, I will probably come up with a dozen other, other different things as far as mark-making goes. Um, but here is what I have uh, done in the mark for mark making. So 
similar things. Of course, everybody will do something different because we are all different artists. So we will, you know, definitely be doing different things. But these are all sample papers that I did in that. So as you can see, you know, we're going to come up with a whole bunch of wonderful, wonderful collage papers that we can use in future art projects. Um, I will provide a variety of different types of papers for you to create on. You can bring your own. Um, of course, if you're joining us by Zoom, you will be bringing your own. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a whole variety of different things that uh, we're going to do in that mark making class. And again, that is Friday, March 25th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Then on Saturday, Saturday morning um, from 10 to 12.30 um, so that's 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All of these are Eastern Times. Um, we're going to do a texture paper class. And uh, we're going to just create some really unique and interesting, te highly textured paper. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what I was <laughs> sopping up my mess with. You don't need to see that. It's not part of it. Um, we're going to make a uh, faux handmade papers as well. Um, these I, this idea, as well as the other ones, um, this one for sure is not something I came up with on my own. I actually saw that on a YouTube video somewhere, on, um, so it's not mine. But we will be doing that together, um, so you will learn my pitfalls and what I've discovered as I was doing that. That's always um, a fun thing and an important thing for an artist is to learn from other artists from what they do. So that's Saturday uh, morning. Then Saturday afternoon from 1.30 to 5 p.m. I don't have a sample yet for that because I am going to take all of these papers that um, I created. And, and so basically that's why I'm saying all of these classes stand alone, but they can all be used together because I'm going to be taking these, these papers that I made already as samples for the other and I'm going to be combining them and I'm going to be making a journal out of them. So in our afternoon class on Saturday, March 26th, um, called Joyful Journal, we'll be taking papers. You can bring papers. Um, you can use the papers that you made, whatever you want to do. We're going to be making a two signature journal. We're going to be creating the cover and the spine. We're going to be binding it um, using a three hole pamphlet stitch. So if that's something that you've been wanting to play with or you enjoy doing that already and it's something that you would like to do with other artists, that is a great class for you and that's part of the weekend of um, classes. Then culminating our weekend is the, uh, and actually that class and then the next one are kind of more like workshops. Um, they're a little bit longer. The one on Sa Sunday, March 27th, and I will find and put the footage here while I'm talking um, is a uh, workshop called Edge Effects uh, where I take and uh, it's such a fast moving uh, class you guys you're going to love this one and I actually had a request for it from somebody um, I have done this before the other ones I have not done before but this one um, basically we take a, a book and, and in this case you can take the journal that you made in class you can bring another uh, book, you know, maybe something that you picked up at the dollar store or, you know, out of a bargain bin somewhere. And we are going to just do tons of edge techniques um, on that book. So that's what we're going to be doing Sunday, March 27th from 10, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and like I said, if you don't live in the area here, I am in Northeast Ohio. Um, I, the studio is in Hudson, Ohio, which is kind of between Cleveland and Akron. If you are not in the area, um, you are welcome to join us by Zoom. And that said, I will be recording it as well. So I know in today's times where it, things are a little uncertain as to whether or not somebody's going to be well, I definitely don't want you coming to the studio if you're not well. Um, but the classes will be available, uh, recorded as well for anybody who can't make it live. So the weekend price for all of those classes, one, two, three, four classes, I believe I counted out 11 instruction hours and workshop hours, um, is $150 and that includes your materials, you guys. So that's a really good price. 
Um, for those of you that are joining via Zoom, uh, you will have to provide your own materials. Um, if you are interested in only one of the classes, or maybe just a couple of the classes, please reach out to me and I will put your name on a list um, for those people that don't want to take the whole weekend. Um, so class space is preferential to those people who want to do the whole weekend. Those people will be given first priority. Then if there are any spaces, I will fill in with anybody who is interested in taking just one or two of the classes um, and not the whole weekend. So, but your best bet is to get in and get in right away and do the whole weekend. Um, Zoom, same thing. I have limited space on Zoom. Um, so I will try to fill those Zoom spots first with people that want to do the whole thing. And then um, I will fill in after that with people that just want to do a few of them. So get a hold of me. The best way to reach me is through this studio email address, which is Mimi's Treasure Cottage at gmail.com. Again, that's Mimi's Treasure Cottage at gmail.com. I'll put that here and uh, we can get you set up and registered for that um, weekend. Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I'm checking in with you after the chocolate walk. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful success that was. I had probably the single best day, well, no, I did. <laughs> it's not probably, I had the single best day here at the studio that I have had since I opened the doors to the public in July of 2021. So that was wonderful. We had close to 180 people that walked through the door. I had a wonderful helper who spent the day with me and I enjoyed um, her company while I was, you know, dealing with all the other people, the wonderful people that came through. Um, so many people didn't know I was here, so that was wonderful advertising for the studio and I was just thrilled. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the aftermath. So it probably looks pretty close to the way it did when I showed it to you last, I think. <laughs> But I did, um, I did sell an awful lot of stuff. So like I said, that was very, very exciting. I don't know if you saw me put the um, paint brushes up over there or not. That might be new from the last time. But I had all of that Hollywood Regency stuff over there that sold last weekend. So that was really nice. Sold a bunch of the Easter stuff. I don't think I showed you this room after I really got it set up. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Unless I sit down and watch the videos again, I don't remember. Um, I sold some Christmas. I mean, I just, you know, and I was putting stuff out because I had a whole cart of stuff that I had priced um, that was just waiting to be put out. So I was putting that out all, all Saturday as well. So that was fun and definitely well worth the effort. I was crazy busy last week though getting ready for it, but again, it was well worth the time invested. 